I got a new plastic I want to show everybody. It's, uh, as you can see, the high impact polystyrene creates a clear look unless you put a bunch of dye in it. Um, there are a few bases I cast that I dyed them to get that to work. Um, just kind of gravity poured it or whatever. I'm working towards uh, mixing something new for this. But <clears throat> the thing I like most about this is you can hear it. It's a hard material. It's solid, right? You know, I'm squeezing it. Let's take a tool. Poking it. You know, it doesn't leave any marks. But, you can bend it. One, two, three, four, Five. See if I can get this set up better. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. As you can see, you can bend this stuff indefinitely. <clears throat> Poured it on some wax paper and the paper kind of stuck to it too, which is what's coming off here now. But let me do it a few more times just so you get an idea. Here's a bend, right? Kind of bends back on its own. So it's got a memory. And I'm thinking about trying to figure out how to release this stuff, but I'm not sure if enough people would be interested or not. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to work with the ratios aren't the same for like mixing it'd be really difficult to make this available to the public but what I like about it is it would be good for production for figures <clears throat> and I'd like to um, I think it would be even better for gaming figures um, and I'm interested in maybe doing a Kickstarter here in the future for some alien designs I'm working on, uh, stuff like that, and use it to fund um, getting this product out for the uh, next type of uh, figures I'll be working on, or a whole new system for people to buy, and at the same time use it for production, casting, and, and whatnot. <laughs> And this stuff will get the same detail as the other material, um, just to kind of pimp Redbox Games a little bit for Trey. Here's one of the figures of his in the current material. And um, I posted a few of these on my Facebook page, as well as the Redbox Games uh, has it posted on his. And uh, so you can see the amount of detail this can get. And you'll get the same thing uh, with with that material. Here's here's a shot of uh, some of the weapon sprues. Um, but like I said, this material is a lot. It's still really firm and easy to work with. It's just flexible because it's got a lot more of the uh, high impact polystyrene. Um, this would, you know. It would be, could you imagine a sword, for instance, like on Trey's figure there? You'd drop it, you'd never have to worry about that sword breaking, ever. Right now it's very limited, but, uh, you know, it, it's got good strength and it breaks clean. Super clean. But you can see how thin this is and the fact that it just doesn't break. Um, that's what I'm more excited about than anything about this whole new system um, so I just kinda wanted to get that out there and I can eliminate this transparency with dye uh, that's that's commonly what I do with everything uh, most of this material is semi-transparent 
so the dye is you know just kind of a cosmetic thing for people to look at but uh, once again just posting this trying to get a uh, an idea what people would think if I uh, started using this material um, it's, We'll flex it like this and it'll follow this memory it'll go back to what it was because it's you know slowly but surely well that may be as far as it goes but uh, you know it's easy to straighten out make flat again there you go you know it takes nothing to straighten back out um, heating it if you heat it it'll it'll tend to go back and just you know straight quicker as well uh, let's see here uh, try to throw it on the ground but it's, it's kinda hard to see so you can see it's shatterproof So it's not going to shatter either, even being this thin. Uh, so possibly another good option. Thank you.